Hey, how you doing? Bless you, bless you, bless you. Welcome to another time here in the Hopper Room. Uh, it's an opportunity, a place to pray. It's the last day of our 17th round of weeks. We're going to take a sabbatical next week. We'll not be here next week. We'll come back up a week and it'll be our 18th round of weeks. Uh, so we got to take a break every uh, seventh week. And uh, just like what I shared today on, on social media, you know, we all need to, uh, uh, what do you call that word now? We need to uh, make sure we we maintain the integrity of our dedicated system. And our first dedicated system is ourselves. You know, I'm morally good in doing this because I'm well. I'm well, not just spiritually, I'm well physically. I'm well mentally also. I'm well psychologically also. So some time ago, I talked uh, on the topic, the, doc the doctrine of rest, you know. And I'm, I, I need a seventh week just to catch up on life. You know, catch up on all the things I need to forego to so as we have to make this. I just be me, you know, not having to work by alarm clock, you know, trying to rush time. You know, it's just my way of ensuring I don't lose me in the middle of doing all of this because it's also a time to listen to God, not be in just one direction and missing God, thinking I'm serving God. You know, so that's important for us also, you know, it's very easy to miss God while trying to serve God. Very easy. A lot of people have gone to hell just because they were serving God, right? Because you, you serve so much, you miss God. The thing you are doing become your God. You fall in love with the work that you miss the person who has sent you. <laughs> it's very possible. You know, I've been there before and I know a lot of people have been there. People have missed God. People have gone to hell. Just because they they were so much taken up, taken away, carried away by the walk itself, that they missed the one who sent them. Right. So that's why Jesus Christ says that without me, you can do nothing. It's not about the thing that you're doing, it's about me. It's about the fellowship. Right. God is calling us not to work for him, but to work with him. You know, so that's the integrity we need to keep. Make sure that we're always with him. It's not about the work. It's about God. It's about the relationship. It's about the fellowship. It's about the communication, right? It's more important to our direction to be guided than to be in a hurry, to have speed. Speed is good, but speed in the wrong direction is not progression. It is regression. If you are not, direction is more important than speed, right? So you we need to be sure we're in the right direction. Then we can put speed on top of that. But while we put speed on it, make sure that we're always, always check to make sure we're in the right direction. Socrates says, an unexamined life is not worth living, right? In that life, it's not just a physical life. An unexamined spiritual life is not worth living. An unexamined psychological life is not worth living. An unexamined marriage life is not worth living. An unexamined prayer life is not worth living. And I see a lot of people, you know, uh, who put the effort into praying, but really the end praying is making noise because they have not examined their prayer, right? They've not seen where they've lost it. They are praying, but they are not praying because they, all they're doing is just an exercise or physical exercise because they, they leave the prayer and the anxiety in their life is not reduced, right? The reason we pray is to reduce the anxiety or take the anxiety away. If the anxiety is not going away, then you question what you're doing. Are you really praying, right? Let's pray. Let's <laughs> pray, man. Uh, I'll just share it in, in the morning. Just to close out on uh, Daniel chapter 10, verse 14. You know, is that we, we need guidance, right? We all need guidance. We all can do with guidance. And God has promised to give us guidance, right? He says there'll be a voice. Mm -hmm. This is the way to go. Walk therein. He mm -hmm. says, right? He says the steps of the righteous are ordered of the Lord. Those are words, promises we receive of God. As much as God wants to guide us, whether we get guidance or not is a function of 
whether we are ready, we're in a position to receive and understand what God is saying. God is giving the guidance. Question is, are we understanding it? How are we receiving it? And are we walking by it? That is up to us. God is not going to do that for us. Mm. All right. So as we we're sharing yesterday, we we're talking about the need to grow ourselves, to be in a position to hear, to, to be yes. able to understand and to walk in it. You know, that's one of the things, uh, Matthew 7, verse 21, 23. Those people that missed it, that Jesus Christ says, uh, many will come to me and say, I'm, 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 that they are of him. And he says, they would not know him. It's because, if, you know, Jesus Christ ends up saying that it's because they did not do the will of God. Mm. Most of them, they didn't do the will of God because they did not know the will of God. They were not hearing God, right? They just ran on their own <laughs> and were doing their yeah. own. God has not called us to work for him. God has called us to work with him. With mm. Whereby we're, we're, we're every day listening to him, getting direction. It's not just going on our own, but I will walk with him. Enoch walked with the Lord. Enoch did not run ahead of God. He did not stay behind. He walked with God. He was step with God. He was in step with God. That is what God wants from us. That's the essence of our creation, to walk with God. And the way to walk mm -hmm. with God is the way to <laughs> seek for mm -hmm. and listen to what he's saying and order our life according to what he's saying. Right? Mm -hmm. God is never going to be the, the missing part of that. It's always going to be us. So we must always be in a position where we can hear that God, but God, God was saying in um, Psalm 37 that be not, don't be like the horse or the mule that needs to be uh, use the giddle, you know, where they be pushing, cause pain to hear. Because God can use pain also to hopefully get our attention, right? But he says, that's not the way I want to lead you. I don't want to lead you with pain. I want to lead you with my eyes. You know, the only way you get leading, when God is leading with your eyes, because you are expecting it, right? It's just like the hostels or the host at the restaurant. You don't need to shout because they're always looking at the, at you to see what you want. So their eyes are on your eyes to see, oh, what does he need, right? They, they, are, they pay attention to you. That's the way they can serve you. Same way we are supposed to pay attention to God. What is God saying? What is the heart of God? What is the mind of God? Where is God's heart beats? Where is God going to? That is our job. That's our duty. We're supposed to wait on God. We're supposed to wait on God. Otherwise, we'll miss we'll run ahead of him or we'll be behind him. Safety is to be in step with God, walking with God. That's a place of our power. That's a, the place of our protection. Right? That's the way to find a way home. Right? So, and that's all what we have been sharing all this while talking about prophecy, hearing from God. You know, we said it can be an audible voice, but God really does that because that can shake our world. And that is more like an armor treatment, right? You don't use the armor for everything. The what easiest God wants to do every day and every second is to lead us by an impression in our heart. Somehow we just know what he's saying deep on the inside of us, right? It, it gives us impression, what we might call a still small voice. That's the most popular one that God would love to and God does lead his people by. Also, there's a place of dreams. Everybody can dream, right? Again, we said not all dreams mean something, but the ones that ever mean something are, are symbolic. So we need understanding and interpretation. Some are clear. We say clear visitation where God comes to you and gives you a direct message, you know, but all of that also is a function of where, who you are, your, your, your spiritual growth also, because God will not give you something you don't understand, you're not ready for, you know, for God to, to determine the level at which God will come to you as a function of where you are, how you have grown. So it's, again, it's draw near to God and it will draw near to you. May God help us all in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 It truly amuses me when the word of God specified how we need to walk with God. And we should also understand that we, 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 we are part of God's body. 
we have the same body in Christ. That's why we can walk with him. Yeah. And his design path is not always an easy one. Yeah. When we really walk with him, it's not always an easy path. Yeah, it's sure. not always short. It's not always short. But all the time, it's always an honest path. Yes. It gives people that the, 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 what we need. It gives us what we need at all time. It's, it's a path that will help others to grow too. It's mm-hmm. a kind path. It's a merciful path. And it's a path of forgiveness. Mm-hmm. So it's only when we decide, just like you mentioned, we decide to be intentional about our work with him that we will get there. Absolutely. Absolutely. There was there was an information I gathered overnight that I needed to work with. And it became too big information at the same time. And I wouldn't want to just knock off one and do another. How will I do it? Except the Lord. If I it did not take more time for me to realize that I should go back to God. And as I went back to God, God gave me that inspiration that when you are titrating, how you weigh it, how you do it, no, it must be the Lord. Don't yeah. just do it your own way. Because your own way, you will fail. Said I will fail woefully in my own way. But yeah. when I rely on God, he won't let me down and I will win in both sides. Yeah. And truly, I relied on that, that same way, not just my own way. I said, let God be good. I will rego it, but something will happen. Amen. And truly, you know, we're still in the mood of prayer when I received the mail. And I was, in fact, I was dazed mm-hmm. that as I desired it, as I wanted it, that was how the Lord did the best way for me. Amen. Amen. It was understanding and uh, it could only be God. Oh, really? So when, when he's telling us that we should use his own way, his own reasoning, mm-hmm. we shouldn't use our reason because there is nothing on our head mm-hmm. except the Lord. Mm-hmm. I pray the Lord will help us. Amen. Because Amen. Many, many times that I've done in my own way and mm-hmm. uh, I've not found anything good out of it. But in God's way, I found peace. Amen. I found fulfillment. Amen. Amen. I pray the Lord will take Take us there, most especially this our growing, growing community, mm-hmm. our growing those who are just upcoming, those little ones that will call the glory of tomorrow. I mm-hmm. pray the Lord will incline their heart yeah. to do it right, do it the way of the Lord. Mm-hmm. Jesus name. Amen, 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 and amen. He will, he will in Jesus' name. He's faithful, just. Is that even if we deny him, if we fail, he will not deny himself. His name is faithful. Mm-hmm. He, will, he will make it happen. So we're going to take a break next week and we'll come back up a week. Uh, it'll be our seventh week here. Uh, so we'll, we'll come back up a week. It'll be a tenth week. Um, yeah. Mm. Uh, God bless you. Yeah. Thank you, man. God bless. Have a great weekend. You too. I pray it shall be a time of rest and reminiscence for us all in Jesus' name. Amen. And when we come back, we come out bigger and better in the Lord. Amen. 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 God bless you. Thank My you, regards to the family. Oh, here. Same here. Oh, shalom. Amen. Yeah.